Blair. Today I'm going to be reviewing I Almost Forgot About You by Terry McMillan. What? Blair's reviewing a book? It's almost been like six months and she's reviewing a book? How exciting! Last June, I read 18 books. This June, I think I read one. So, um, right. I'm kind of an affiliate for this company called Blogging for Books, so I'm pretty sure that they're like the middleman in between the publishing house and the reviewers. So basically, what publishing house is this? So Crown Publishing published this book, but I got it through Blogging for Books, and yeah, so I'm a reviewer, and today I'm going to be reviewing this book. Okay, so this book is about a woman, she's on the cover, named Georgia, and she's 54 years old, and she lives in California, and she is twice divorced, she has two kids. So let me explain the title a little bit. She has this list of people she slept with, and people that she's actually been in love with, and there's about five people on the love list, and she basically wants to call everybody up and not like get back together with them, but just say that she is happy that they were a part of her life and kind of just not make amends but thank them. I gave this book five stars. I have never read an adult book like this. I usually don't read adult books but I actually flew through this. This is my first book from Blogging for Books and I actually am very pleased. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I thought it was gonna take me really long to read it because it's an adult book and I have a bunch of YA books but I actually really liked it and I liked how it feels in my hands. The cover is beautiful and it's just a perfect size and I definitely recommend it. I had a really good connection with Georgia. She's 54 and I'm 17 and I still had this really good connection with her just because she is kind of finding herself and I'm at that stage in my life where I'm trying to find myself and it just shows me that like you can find yourself many times in a lifetime and you could find yourself 20 years from now and change and reinvent yourself. My favorite part was learning about all the relationships she had. There were some flashbacks, which I really liked how the author did the flashbacks. She's just a really great character, and I love her. I really enjoyed it. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the spoiler section, so if you have not read this book, then click out of this video, go buy this book, and yeah. If you want to check out Blogging for Books, I'll leave a link in the description below. Also, I'll leave the link to the Amazon page where you can buy this. Part of this book was the characters. They were all so different, but I loved how Terry, Terry um, wrote them. They were just really, really great, and her writing style was very easy to read. I didn't get stumped or like put it down because I didn't want to read it. I just like put it down because I was busy or something. Like it wasn't like I hate this book. I just need to get through it. <laughs> like I really liked it. I enjoyed it, and I didn't expect to, but I did. Okay, so I didn't start writing notes till about like two thirds through just because I was traveling and blah blah blah, but I wanted to talk about Abraham. So I'm like, oh finally she's gonna fall in love with one of the people on her list. And then he's like, and I'm engaged. And I'm like, really? Really? You had to be all flirt and stuff and then like, oh. Uh, just like, it was like I wanted to punch him in the face type of thing. Like, of course. Of course. I loved Georgia's mother. She was hilarious. I really, really enjoyed the dialogue they had and the relationship they had. And I loved that she got married to Grover. Like, it was just so cute. It was so adorable and it proved even more the idea that you can grow really old and still fall in love. Um, one character that was kind of annoying at the beginning but I kind of grew to like was Michael, her first ex-husband. Um, so I liked him because he was so blunt. Like that one time when he just called her up and was like, hey, and then she was like, the, the, is the wedding off? And he was like, yeah, actually, yes. Oh, do you want to have sex with me? Like, where did that come from? Like, why did he, ha like, it was so funny. I laughed out loud at that part because like, he's so blunt and I loved that about him. I also loved Wanda and Violet. They were really, really great. Violet was kind of like, she's kind of a hard character to like just because our main character, like, she, they're best friends, but like, she's really annoyed by her sometimes, which is understandable. That's what friends do. They get annoyed by each other, but it was just kind of hard to start liking her. Um, and it was really sad, the part where she gets cancer. I was just kind of like, ah. 
was great. She planned that whole birthday party for Georgia, and I was just like, oh, best friends, best friends. Oh, and Stanley, like, oh my gosh, that part of the book. I was like, who is Stanley? And so I had to go back, and like, I couldn't find him. So then I was like, okay, we'll just keep reading and see if like, the explanation comes up. And then they were like, he's white, and I'm like, oh, it's that guy. And so it was just, <laughs> I didn't know what was happening really, but I loved him, he was great. I loved how she was like, swearing, and then she was like, sorry for swearing, and he was like, Oh no, I use profanity on a regular basis. I love that. It was so cute. I fix up homes now because I'm a retired astronaut. I'm like, perfect. He can fix up homes and she can furnish them. And I'm just like, it's great. It's perfect. I really like the twins also. Um, her grandchildren were all adorable and I loved learning about all of them. And then he met her at the airport. I was like, ah. it was so good. It was so good. I loved how he like, oh. It was so sweet. Oh, and then at the end, in the epilogue, I didn't understand the part where, like, she was like, and me and Stan just had our third child. I was like, because then she said lol after it, so I was like, is she joking? But then, like, she didn't explain it. Plus, she went through menopause. So I don't know. I don't know. That part kind of confused me. But I really liked this book. It was really, really great, and I enjoyed reading it. And if you want an adult book that's easy to read, then please pick this up. Actually, you're here at the end of the spoilers, so you probably already read it. But if you want to comment some of your opinions on this book, then please comment below. I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be making more reviews and tags and things. Also, everybody, if you want to share my style, please share on all your social medias about Blair's books.